Yes, good evening. Nice to be with you tonight. Um, thank you for having me. Um, so I work for the 2020 Census under the Department of Commerce, and we're really excited to be working with the city of Arvada. Um, we just want to do a very short presentation on what you need to know and do now. Um, uh, my first spreadsheet, or a PowerPoint piece is around funding. Um, there's $675 billion up for stake in the next 10 years, so we really, really need people to have a high response rate to the census, and we need to make sure that they do it only once and in the right place. Um, so we're trying to do a lot of education as to what it means to fill out the census correctly um, and also have people comfortable filling the census. Um, we do a lot of census, uh, census engagement and partnership with local entities. You guys are the trusted voices in the community. We work a lot with nonprofits. Um, we're working with Community First Foundation, cities, counties, and so we are excited to partner with the city of Arvada and have what we call a complete count committee, um, which will hopefully help us reach out to everyone in the community so that we can um, make sure that we have a high response rate for the 2020 census. And finally, our goals and our challenges. Again, um, educate about the importance. We want it to be just as important or seem just as regular and normal as did you vote, have you registered to vote, because this is a great way to participate civically. It is constitutionally mandated um, to motivate people to respond and to support the community's mobilization efforts. Any questions? Mr. McGough. Yes. <clears throat> I, I believe I heard some time back that the, uh, for each person in the count, it amounts to about $1,500 that may come to the, to the municipality. Yes, is that's that, correct. Is that number about right? About right. It depends on where you live. Yeah. If you live in a rural community, it's a slightly different number. Yeah. But for, for example, thinking ahead to the census, getting an accurate census in Arvada, yes. it might make that much difference for each person who's included in the census. Yes, so if we undercount by just 500 people, we miss out on $7 million over the next 10 years. Thank you. And, and not only is it important from that perspective, but also in terms of our representation in Congress, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, so we're looking at going to at least one more, conceivably two more, uh, representatives in, in uh, Congress. That's correct. So obviously very important. I know that our team here at the city and, and uh, Ben Thurston is involved and others are involved from the, from the city team, Mr. Devon? Uh, yes. Uh, That's uh, b actually Ben Irwin, our I'm sorry, uh, ben, com communications yeah, sorry. manager. Sorry, yeah. Ben, I know, I know who you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that, correct. Yes, very good. It's going to be one of those nights. Okay, uh, Ms. Ford. I'd like to make a motion if there are no other. You may proceed. I move that R19-054, a resolution creating a census 2020 complete count committee to plan and conduct local engagement activities to increase community awareness and participate in the 2020 census be adopted. All votes are cast. That passes unanimously with Mr. Jones being absent. Thank you so much. Look forward to working with you. Thank you. We look forward to working with you too.